Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. We're here for a June weekly love reading. All readings are good for 6 to 12 months by Tarot Philosophy. And so I want to thank everyone for visiting. Thank you. Welcome new visitors. And thank you to subscribers who are returning to watch. Thank you. Thank you. All the credentials that I have for private personal readings are in the box below. And contact information as well as the rules for entering the contest to win a free phone reading with me. All right, message in a bottle. Look at that flexibility. I have been getting flexible so much in the past three weeks. I wonder why. <laughs> Other than Corona Geddon, why would we need to be flexible between two worlds? Why would that be the case? All right, so let's take a look, Scorpio. So this is a love reading, you and your person of interest. And I have pre-shuffled. So let's take a look here and see what the mutual energy is between you and your lover. Okay, we have the three of fire. That means don't give up now. Your ships have come in. That is recent mutual energy. The current mutual energy, the eight of coins, working on things, working on your night moves. Not exactly, but you know, you get the idea. <laughs> and with that, six of fire, victory, feeling good, making that appearance out in public, becoming a public couple declaring to the world that you are together and thank you okay so let's look and see how your person views you scorpio how does your person view you nine of fire somebody who is doing having a heavy workload right now so many of you may be you know really burning the midnight oil and becoming a rock star while doing it. Okay, how your person feels about you in their heart space. Well, the eight of water, which is a peculiar heart space, that is the desire to be somewhere greater with you or someone else. Let's see, so we'll see how this turns out. Let's see, the magician card indicates that that's how they see the two of you moving forward. You have to manifest your future. That is Virgo and uh, Gemini energy. The six of fire is Leo energy. The eight of earth is Capricorn, I'm sorry, Virgo energy. And the three of fire is Aries energy. Nine of fire is Sagittarius. All right, so let's see here what is hidden in energy between the two of you, the two of fire. You're at a crossroads, so now there's a fork in the road. Which direction do you go? And what is the Tarot recommending? The King of Fire. Be logical, be determined, be stable in your choice. Okay, but also listen to your heart. Choose somebody who makes you happy. Choose someone who creates a lot of laughter and love in your life. Lightheartedness, joy. All right, and the outcome of the week is a five of water. Okay, this is kind of a tough week. This looks like a, you know, a tough period of time here. I'm gonna clarify this. This is a reading that is a little bit difficult. It looks like things are going well on the surface and yet beneath the surface we have some discontent. All right, Scorpio, what is going on here? Three of fire. That is really like you've earned the prize. Now you're waiting to go unload the ships in the port. Let's see, why is the three of fire here in the recent past for you and your love interest? Six of swords coming out of a bad time. All right. Eight of earth. Why is that here for our beautiful Scorpio friends? Ooh, five of swords. That is usually difficult energy. There could be a fight around work. You know, there's discord, something about work life, not being able to make it mesh so well. The Knight of Pentacles, you're moving slowly to work on that. I'm getting the Four of Wands. It's interesting because you both want to work on a relationship that's long-term. But I also get this energy of the devil, which says that you're both very particular, not only about it happening, but about exactly how it will happen. 
All right, so why is the Six of Fire here? This is a card of possible engagement, um, but publicly a couple. Justice card, well, you're, pres you're presenting yourself as equal and balanced, very Libra energy. So the outside world thinks you guys are doing great. All right, and why is the Nine of Fire here? That's a very heavy workload. The world card. Well, you're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders, Scorpio. That's how your person sees you. What is it that makes them discontent? What's going on in this relationship? The King of Wands is feeling restless. The King of Wands is here also. So why is this desire to find something more satisfying here? Ten of Swords, a betrayal. All right, feeling as though this just may not work out. Three of Swords, interest in a different person, all right. So the love interest, Scorpio, has an interest in another person. Nine of Wands, they feel guilty about it. You have the Nine of Wands. You're, you may come to the conclusion that you're not meant for each other. All right, the Magician card indicates that you are not going to continue manifesting. You're just hanging out and seeing what's going to happen. The Queen of Cups energy is Cancerian energy. The Page of Wands energy is precocious, happiness, fun, keeping it light. All right, Two of Fire. Why is the Two of Fire here? Seven of Swords. You're both keeping secrets from each other. You're both thinking, you're both kind of on this page of not necessarily thinking you're the one for each other. And yet, you know, you're being very sweet about it. I like that. Temperance card. Okay, so this really does explain a lot here. So what I'm seeing is that there's a considerable amount of feeling as though you might not be well matched. And that you may both choose a different partner. So there is discontent. However, you don't want to choose yet because you feel as if you do, you might miss out on a really wonderful relationship together. So I, the way I'm reading this, and for whom it resonates, and it is a general reading, so it's like a buffet table. Every part of every reading will not fit, and, and if this doesn't fit at all, go look at the playlist at the end of the video, and you will see other videos that can work for you that may resonate with you. And readings, like I said, are good for six months to a year. Equal give and take is very important when we look at the Leo King. Five of Cups, it just doesn't feel like something's right here. The Tarot is saying, you guys, the two of you may not be a long-term match. The Hierophant card says that it is highly unlikely with the Five of Cups. Oh, the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, this is one of those hairpin turns in a reading. Magician card, okay. So this really tells me that both of you are seeking a marital partner and that both of you are single, you've done well for yourselves, you've manifested a lot. We have the Magician card here, we have the Magician card here. Both of you bring a lot to the table, you want equal give and take. What it shows me though is that you may not want traditional marriage in the way that people typically think about it that in the past for both of you that did not really work out very well and both of you see the other one as a wish fulfillment but you're not really quite sure how to tell each other like hey you know uh, I betrothed to thee that I could be your lover for many many years maybe that's what I'm seeing <laughs> all right five of water you're afraid to hurt each other's feelings the Knight of Swords, though, says that you need to tell the truth, and by week's end, you are actually going to tell the truth about how you feel. So the way I'm reading this is that you either, you either may decide that you're not really compatible, <clears throat> or equally, for some, there's a couple of storylines here. This will resonate by because both of you could also see each other as a great partner, and yet not really want the traditional, walking away from what's here, which is a traditional marriage. You know, the one person, and a third storyline is, is that one partner wants to leave, period, for another partner. So I see three different scenarios here. And that is what they are. So let's see what the flexibility card, why is flexibility a key here? 
for happiness. Be flexible for happiness. Also, too, you may be trying to make this judgment too soon. That's what I'm getting. Because of the sun cards here, that means that you this has great potential. The magician card indicates great potential. The eight of coins indicates great potential. You know, it, it the three of fire indicates great potential. So I think what, you know, Spirit is trying to say is that you really should be honest with each other, even if at the fear of hurting one another's feelings. Decide now so that you can get what you want sooner. Look at this message in a bottle you delight in one another there's something about your communication that is so rare that's so lovely that you really find it unusual it's attractive and why are you between two worlds king of swords both of you have been through quite a lot and when we look at swords kings and queens they've been wounded and they will make a head over heart decision the six of wands though, six of wands, you guys are, you guys are, can be a power couple, definitely, but you don't know if you're a fit yet. And the cards, the tarot is just saying, don't do anything. Just don't do anything. Stay in there. Have fun. The Leo King has fun. Uh, the nine of coins says that just because you haven't had a marriage in the past that worked out in the way that you thought was equal, that this relationship would be very strong. You are manifesting what you want. You do have an incredibly beautiful relationship, but it's choice. So as a reader, I always like to say, I inform and you decide. I don't ever suggest yay or nay. Typically, if I do see a warning or a red flag, I say it. And if I see love, I say that too. All right. Take care, Scorpio. Have a good one. Bye-bye.